this is a story of how one man's trash is another man's treasure, literally. Landfills are not traditionally thought of as places that can be productive for society. After all, they are made up of our refuse. But NECA contractors across the country, including O'Connell Electric from Rochester, New York, and their IBEW partners are taking the smell out of landfills and making a clean-burning renewable power source out of it. You know, our world has a lot of people, and with a lot of people comes a lot of trash. It is a problem that has plagued landfill owners and municipalities now for hundreds of years. How do you take the disgusting mess that people throw away and turn it into something useful? The NECA IBEW team has become part of the solution, building landfill gas to energy generating plants. Landfills are dirty places, but what comes out of them can be a green solution for municipalities and landfill owners. Landfill gas burned for electricity. This is how it works. Trash deposited in a landfill contains organic matter. It is digested by microbes in the absence of oxygen, creating methane gas. Normally, this methane would be burned off by the landfill to reduce odor. But in this case, vacuum wells are placed on the surface of the landfill to actively pump gas into a compressor. The gas is then stripped of contaminants and pumped into a combustion engine, where it fuels the creation of electricity for hundreds and even thousands of homes by tying into the electrical grid. Landfill gas to energy projects are popping up all over the country, and NECA contractor O'Connell Electric has cornered the market in upstate New York. We've been in uh, landfill gas since uh, probably the mid-90s there, and we are following that all over the place too. You know, just like wind, following that, solar, we're following that. Two projects stand out among the rest for their novel approaches to generating electricity for citizens. The Delaware County Waste to Energy Facility near Walton, New York, and the Highland Landfill Renewable Energy Facility in Angelica, New York. The Delaware County facility is a single reciprocating engine that generates nearly one megawatt of electricity. We're taking the methane gas that's produced through anaerobic digestion of the solid waste and we're burning it in an engine to produce a thousand kilowatts of electrical power. O'Connell's and their IBEW crews work at the facility was a three-step process. The building off the pad, wiring the plant itself, and building a utility interconnect to step up the voltage for the grid. We stepped the voltage up uh, through voltage transformation here at the site from 480 volts to 12,470 volts. Uh, we also have a protective system that can utilize a relaying that we have here on site to protect the utility and our own equipment. So in case there's a fault or abnormal operation in the power system, uh, we don't damage their equipment and our equipment doesn't get damaged either. We actually have uh, technicians who are who have extensive training in relaying protection and testing that definitely bring the thing all together and the utility intertie at the end. The gas itself is safe to burn and burning is a win-win for all parties by both reducing harm to the surrounding community by reducing odor and generating clean electricity for their use. For the most part all methane generated by this solid waste was diffusing into the atmosphere and as you may know uh, methane is a very potent greenhouse gas. As a nonprofit utility, uh, we're able to rely on this power with a fairly predictable cost structure. The Highland Landfill in Angelica is a bit bigger than the Delaware County site, but the idea is essentially the same. The Highland facility is capable of generating 4.8 megawatts of power with capacity for another 1.6 megawatts in the future. The plant was completed in 2008, and the landfill, which opened in 1998, continues to accept about a half a ton of trash per day from the surrounding community. The construction and development of the power plant at the Highland Landfill was a fairly challenging undertaking. There's a substation that sets right outside the plant that uh, boosts the voltage from the 4160 that's generated by the actual three generators up to 34.5, which is the transmission voltage that brings it here to the three-ring substation. The uh, next phase was to construct a seven-mile line to carry the power here, and then, of course, this interconnection point where it ties to the utility. Landfill owners and utilities can rest assured in knowing that NECA contractors and their IBEW partners have the know-how to make highly technical and cutting-edge jobs like this happen. We're taking a, a, a basically a, a resource that's untapped and utilizing it to, you know, to generate not just electricity, but it generates jobs for people that, that are involved with this project. And, and it's, it's really a win-win situation. 
O'Connell Electric is a great example of what so many NECA contractors do well. Landfill gas to energy programs like these are just one aspect of a NECA contractor's green toolbox. A good way to start thinking about your own project is by heading over to www.nikanet.org. Thanks. We'll see you next time.